all right so i'm um, welcome to pv tech and praise and in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually install multiple lmds on a single set like this so in this particular one i'm going to show you how you can actually fix dstv and multi tv on a single set like this all right i have a video earlier but that video is not clear enough so these are backup videos to actually enlighten you on what you have to do to actually get good signal on a single satellite dish. All right. So when it comes to multiple LMBs installation, there is one thing that you should keep in mind. The signal or the satellite have to be on a particular direction or they have to be facing a particular location in order for you to get them on a single satellite dish. And using a bigger dish will be a plus since the signal microwaves have been thrown from the clouds coming down. So using a bigger thing, you can actually collect enough of it so it's not possible to get satellite facing opposite angle let's say canals are this on the west and then most TV is on the east on a single satellite dish and it's not possible someone will say impossible all right so with these two different satellites we have multi tv which is on the northeast 20 degrees dstv on the northeast 36 degrees so on elevational level when it comes to multiple lmbs installation the toppest satellite have to be your primary signal. So with these two different satellites, we have DSTV on a 36 degrees, which is below multi-TV signal, and then multi-TV 20 degrees. So multi-TV have to be your primary signal. When it comes to multiple LMBs installation, one thing that you should keep in mind, the fact that the DSTV signal is below multi-TV doesn't mean that you should install DSTV first and then add the multi-TV on top of it. It depends on the strategy that you're gonna use, but normally on elevational level, the toppest signal have to be your primary signal. All right, so after getting a stable multi-TV signal, all you got to do is to know the length or the distance that you can actually add the other LMB on top of it to get a DSTV signal. And it goes up just one inch to get a metal plate. Okay, you should try and get a governance one a flexible one as well because the flexible one will actually enable you to rotate or turn the LMB around to adjust the signal quality okay to get enough of it and then you have to get a governance one meaning it will be on top of the satellite dish for a long period of time it will be in both rainfall and then sunshine so you have to get something that will not rust that fast okay you can use a copper wire but it depends on how you can do to get the signal. Get your LMB, you can use a metal clip. If you can get a metal clip, this is an old LMB. Old LMB doesn't mean that it's not working, okay. So, metal clip, if you can get a metal clip, use any black tape to tape it really hard and you are good to go. The metal plate have to be, you have to cut two inches by half inch. The half inch in order for you to actually insert in on top of the LMB if you cut a length which is larger than the half inch you won't get access to actually insert in on top of the LMB holder okay so two inch by half inch and then bend each side half inch half inch so the middle have to be just one inch it goes up one inch to get a DSTV signal and it's very simple okay so here I have a stable multi TV signal over here so all i got to do is to add the dstv signal for you to know how you can actually do that installation all right so you pick up your finder as you can see on your screen if you don't know the dstv frequency the dsc frequency is just one two two four five horizontal two seven five zero zero you can use different piece to track by using this one will actually helps you to get a signal very fast and then the multi tv one is 12525 vertical 30k 30,000 okay and you are good to go all right so loose the lmb holder lose it a bit and if the boat is not long enough you can replace it with a long boat in order for you to add the other LMB okay so lose it and then add your LMB all right 
so you shouldn't tight it really hard because you are now about to turn it around to get a DSTV signal so it shouldn't be that hard enough but in most cases after adding it on top of it if the primary signal is a stable one maybe 80 percent and above you're gonna get it straight away you don't have to even bother yourself to turn it you can set in your cable Okay, and add your DSTV TPO, which is 12245 27500 horizontal. Okay, so now you have to track to get a signal, turn it around to get your signal. All right, so after getting a stable signal, you have to tight it really hard. Okay, so know that when it comes to DSTV decoders, unless you get a stable signal, maybe above 60% before you're gonna get all the channels working. So make sure that you have a stable signal over here before you go ahead. If it's an FTA channel that you are trying to get it on a FTA decoder, it's different from using a DSTV decoder. All right, so. If you find this video helpful and you are new here, all you got to do is to subscribe and hit the bell icon. You lose absolutely nothing by subscribing. All right, thanks for watching. Bless.